is that ready now? We're ready to go. Okay, this is the official announcement then. It's the 91st Cash Knowledge Seekers Workshop. And it's Thursday, December 10th, 2015. And uh, once again, we'll be uh, at the Station Institute with Mr. Kesh of the Kesh Foundation. And he'll have uh, what he promises to be, uh, to show us something that we've never seen, he's mentioned. Um, he's uh, hinted at something to do with crystals as well today. And uh, we're all looking forward to whatever it is that's um, on the on the radar okay mr kesh um, i think we're ready to go there if you are yes good morning good day to you as usual wherever and whenever you listen to these broadcasts this is the 90 plus workshops and hopefully we can carry on to further more teaching in totality of what this technology will bring. Today, we open a new door in the world of science. What this means, for the first time, we go beyond what my, what I call one of the most respected scientists in the history of man known as Tesla could not carry on through. We show a limitation beyond the strength of what Tesla understood but could not show. Tesla understood physics in magnetical direction, but he never understood position of the plasma that he has both gravity and magnetic. He's one of the most highly respected scientists in the world of physics, and I consider him the only scientist who understood the physics in a real way, but he could not complete his work. Maybe today we add to the knowledge what Tesla brought us. You will see things which at the present science is unacceptable. We'll show you technology which from now on the Cash Foundation and the Innovation Center work on and will carry on to adding to the knowledge. One of the main things which has been the backbone of the work is the conversion or excitation of the plasma using what man has already achieved as the, or using the vibration of the plasma of the electron, which is a very small, but it's a good initiator for the release of the power from the bigger plasmas. A lot of you in the past few weeks made all sorts of the steps in making coils like this. And I stopped you on your track, some of you, because you were going too fast, or there were some corrections needed to be made. A lot of you tried, connected, received your units, but you say you do not see any results. In fact, if you have already connected your systems to the main which you received, or you connected your systems which you built and you connected it to the main, you have already stopped producing energy surplus from the plasma. But as I said, you all been looking on the wrong side of the wall because you're so concentrated on trying to do one thing to prove it's wrong or it will be there that you missed the whole ball. Somebody who showed the beginning of this and you all missed is with us today. Alex is back. He went to Nigeria, setting up the Nigerian Cash Foundation Center, and now today he's with us. If you remember, I keep on telling you, everything is in front of you, but you all have missed it. Good morning. Everything is with you, and you all have missed it. Go back to the teaching of Alex. All of you saw something, but you could not connect one to the other. And this was and has been your biggest problem. If you remember, 
when Alex showed you the beads, he made the beads in any shape and he connected them and he connected the second loop of beads together. What he did, what we showed that the system is working. And if you remember was in the center in uh, teaching in Trani was that we connected this to two meters. One meter showing what was coming in and one meter was showing what was going out. And if you remember, the ratio is between three to 6% depends on how you do the job. It varies on the thickness of the material. It varies on the way you wind your material. So you can have one, two, three, and we have achieved up to eight times return. This is what you, all of you, in all your systems have missed. This is exactly what all of you have done up to now. And when you receive the system from us, out of your lack of understanding what was there, you connected your meter, you connected it to the stacker you made, and you connected it to the load. And you say, the meter doesn't move. Of course it doesn't move. It will never move. Because what you take is what you put back out, but you don't use the feedback. What is the three times, four times which you have supposed to harvest? You do not harvest what you take in. Your harvest is on return. Gravitational plasma is always stronger than magnetical. Magnetical is giving, gravitational is taking. If you don't take enough, you have nothing to give. So what you've done, you put back into the grid all the energy for past three, four weeks with all the units they made, but you never utilized it. And you're all watching a meter. You're watching a meter, which is actually feeding back into the grid. You're not harvesting it. So I told you we teach you the system what to do today. We told you to condition the home. There is a reason for it. If you wouldn't done that, or when you build your system, you don't go through the process of conditioning and connect directly, you're gonna blow your system up, you're gonna have blowing your house equipment up, and then you say the system doesn't work. We explain to you, take, it's in your manuals, and we told you, if your meter of the house is there, and this is the furthest point in the house, connect your unit here, and add a small load, that what you're gonna do is by connecting it to the house, you will start plasmatically coating all the wires in the house, that by the time you move the unit back in its place and you add it, you have made sufficient coating on the wiring in the house that you can start process of coating and using your system. The coating, initial coating is needed because once you move your unit back to its original position, back to its original load, whatever you make as a plasma, you'll be using it as energy. So you have nothing to coat anymore unless there is a surplus somewhere. So what you all have missed, I think you better sit, uh, Stanley, you two better sit here, listen today, and then carry on afterwards today, okay? So what, you have missed and what you did not understand between what was shown in Trani with the units and what was given to you as a power unit and the power units which you made, the stackers you made, is this functionality. So, what did you miss? All of you, up to now, have connected your units here or made a unit and plugged it into the wall, and you see it doesn't move, of course, because you're only seeing what's coming out. You don't see what's going out of the house because you don't measure it. We measure it, we have a system here, double stacker, we see there is a power feedback. 
So what you all have missed, which you're going to kick yourself out in a way, and the power you're going to harvest from your system, depending on your national grid phasing. In certain countries, if your national grid phasing is on certain ranges, you can go up to 100% efficiency. If you have the national grid on two phases, two line, in different phases, you can go up to 66%. In most of the European nations, due to the phasing, you achieve 33%. What it means, you will see 33% reduction on the load, which is what's called one plus one third. How does it work? Now, what have you missed? What you missed is you did not harvest the fruit of your hard work. You just put it in the grid. If you have had a system on a grid for past few days, not on 11 watt, we've seen some crazy people have put 11 watt and they expect to nanocode the whole thing. We told you to build it up to half a kilowatt, two kilowatt. You will see something very strange. Go back. If your meter has been on and loaded the sequential, ask or pick up your electricity bill from last year for the same period and look at your electricity bill for the period you've been testing. You'll find out you already start making the saving, but you are not looking for it. What it means, while you've been running your test, you've been feeding your general meter, compare your bills. This is what we've done. Take your bill from last, let's say November, and then look at the bill from this November. If you have been carrying the same kind of activities, it should be about 30% lower than last year. But what you've done, you haven't measured it. What you got to do, when you make your unit, you take your unit back to the furthest position in the house again, put whatever you see you want the reduction on, load one of the the standard loads which you always use as a last plug. A fridge, air conditioning, a lighting, or whatever which is continuously there. And then all the loads which you use, usual at home, which you all missed, has got to be plugged afterwards. Between the meter and the unit. This is where you harvest your energy. This is what you all missed. When you put your meter and you look at the units which some of you made to see if it works and even on the internet and you put your meter, the unit and the load and you say nothing has changed. This is your meter. This is your unit and this was your load. You never understood. Your monkey see, monkey does like a bunch of not understanding the technology. You fool yourself. And you call this a hook. The hook is you because you do not understand the technology. What you should have done, you should have put your load here. How can you show you're harvesting anything when you put 500 watt energy unit here, and then you put a 2000 watt here, and your meter reads. 1,400 or 1,500. You're using two and a half thousand, but you're actually paying for 1,500, 30%. You can push the limit to two kilowatt weight of resistance, which whatever that gives you in power, you'll get the reduction on. That's why we call them a power unit. We don't call them a generator. So, what you've done, what you should see, your power, in some cases, if you nanocode long enough and in a different proposition, you can push this to the limit of zero depending on how you connect your system and how the phasing in your city or in your building is. If part of the house is on one phase, you get part of it. If it's on the other phase, in totality, you bring everything to zero. So all those who call it a hoax, 
you never understood. You're a bunch of monkeys who were there to prove you're wrong, but now you understand you never understood. You're a bunch of thieves. Those who understood and have stood by and followed the process, all you need to do now is harvest the energy of the system, which is fed back. The feedback of the plasma, you have not harvested. But if you run the systems in your house for past month, you already received the benefit of the bill reduction. If you can produce a three-phase system that covers the three phases of the electricity at the center, then you receive zero bill. This is what we said, and that's what will kind of happen. What it is, what you do not harvest, the grid gets quoted, and then your neighbors use. And then when all the three phases in different area are connected to the center, in six months, 12 months time, you all receive a zero power because you're all contributing towards power supply. So those of you who receive the power unit, those of you who build your power units, irrespective of nano-coated, good morning, nano-coated by firing, nano-coated by caustic, nano-coated by electric methods or whatever, you all should receive more or less the same power output. If you cascade it and you can cascade it properly, you should be able in specific cases achieve zero power by cascading before which means you power to power. Then your two kilowatts goes to 5.4 kilowatts, which means you can go to three times more minimum, which is if you look in so many ways, 500, 1500. So whatever you use here, more or less, should become free. It's you who chooses how much power you use at home. It's you who's going to choose how much you want reduction on the two third and where you're going to put it. But one of the most important things which all of you have to understand because this is actually a waste of time, but you're happy with it. You're happy with the crumbs. You can have all the crumbs you like because you have become a bunch of figures of energy from the time of the atom. As long as you have energy, steal food, kill animal, steal technology to have free energy, nothing has changed. You kill the animals to steal, now you want to steal the technology to assault it because you don't understand, you never understood the principle of the creation. The principle of the creation, we are not here as a Keshe Foundation Special Institute to give you these technologies. The Cash Foundation Technology Space Institute is to take man into deep space without dependence on matter, food, or whatever, but to be able to understand the work of the plasma. And none of you did. You're a bunch of thieves who have come to steal from your nation, from your other brothers, and call the other thieves not to show how thieves you are. Understand the technology. I knew all of you will come and say the guy is a hoax and the rest of it. The ones who stole from us our life in Belgium, now they stole the books, putting it free. We told you for years they're intimidating us and nobody believed. Now you've seen how they intimidate the whole lot of you. A man who had access to the books on an e-book because it was loaded, loaded it down and gave it everywhere as a revenge, intimidating me and the rest of the foundation. This is the intimidation we have stood for years by this man. Now he's intimidated all of you. But in essence, you forget what I told you from the beginning. Stealing of the books. The ones who downloaded the books without paying for it, I told you, are those who will never benefit by the knowledge because it's the habit of your stealing. And the man, the devil who puts it on, is the servant of his own misguided work. Anybody who downloaded the books thinking 
the three fin anterior passported out, the two do, three of you, you understand, this is your habit of stealing, forget about stay on earth because that's where you're going to be. When you go to, uh, to into a space, you become thieves by the same habit, there is no space for thieving. So, understand something very well. We got intimidated for 10 years by the same man, now you've seen intimidation on the website, and now you see the full work of a devil. He didn't intimidate us. The books which are downloaded free is your judgment, but the money which hasn't come in is the money we can't give to the poor, to the people who need it, because this is how foundation work. We served through the books, and now you are stole a life of a child. So be it on your shoulder with the thieves you work. This was a test, and if you downloaded it, you failed. It's on you, not on us. Because now I'm going to explain to you how the plasma technology works. By giving and taking and positioning. When you steal, you take, you go further. By giving, you come closer because it becomes equal to you. 